A local small hospital is setting the stage for rural health care throughout the state as it continues to upgrade its facilities. Eyewitness News reporter Bree Clark was in Arco today and she's now live for us in the newsroom. Bree, how is health care in the big Lost River Valley? Well, Todd, over the last year or so, the Lost Rivers Medical Center has made a complete transformation. Not only is the hospital making physical changes, but modern medicine is boosting the hospital's quality of care. Susan Pearson has lived in Argo for decades, but it wasn't until a few months ago she was able to get her eyes checked without traveling out of town. We have a small community. There's not a lot of stores left, as, as in most small towns. But it's great to have wonderful medical facilities. With the help of grants, donations, and federal funding, the medical center is equipped with a new x ray imaging suite, a CT scanner, and laboratory. We've gone from being a sleepy little uh, band aid station in the desert, if you will, to a real hospital uh, that provides critical care to a community that desperately needs access to affordable. Health care in our community. To continue affordable care, Lost Rivers has also implemented a government mandated EMR system that uploads patient information to a secure cyber storage cloud. It is a significant step. Uh, that takes our hospital uh, from the stone age to, to the light age, I guess, or light speed age. The hospital also intends to build on its telemedical services. We have a, the, the state's only uh, telepharmacy uh, in conjunction with Idaho State University, and we're looking to expand those services with the support of the Idaho State Legislature to include teleemergency room services, telestroke services, teleburn services. It is the future of health care in rural America. But to keep moving forward, the Lost Rivers Medical Board wants to keep its care affordable. We don't want to waste that money that the taxpayers entrusted us with financially with where we're going is extremely important also. And that our care for the patients in this valley, these are our friends and neighbors. We're pretty small. so. And in just the past few months, the hospital has received more than $350,000 in grants and donations. Live here in the newsroom, I'm Bree Clark. Exciting for them. You bet. Thanks.